This video demonstrates how to use ERD Plus to create an ER diagram. Once you're logged into your account, go to the Diagram section. Click on the New and choose ER Diagram option. Click on the name of the new ER diagram to enter the drawing surface. Let's create a small ER diagram. We will click on the Entity icon and place the entity anywhere in the drawing surface. We will name this first entity location. We will add two attributes to this entity, location ID and location name. We will declare location ID to be unique. Now let's add another entity. We'll name this entity project. We'll add attributes, project ID and project name. Project ID is unique. We'll add one more entity. We'll name this one employee. Employee has employee ID, which is unique, and employee name. Now we can create some relationships between these entities. To create a relationship, we have to click on the connect icon then click on one entity, in this case project, and drag to another one, in this case location. We just created a relationship between project and location. We will call this relationship takes place. Now we will declare cardinality constraint for this relationship. Each project takes place at exactly one location, whereas each location has at least one project taking place at it, but can have many. Now let's create a relationship between employee and project. Again, we'll click on connect, click on employee, and drag over to project. We will name this relationship works on. Each employee works on at least one project, but can work on many. Each project has at least one employee working on it, but can have many. Works on is a many-to-many -many relationship. Many-to-many -many relationships can have attributes. To demonstrate, we will create an attribute for this relationship, works on. We will create an attribute and name it number of hours, signifying that it keeps track of number of hours that each employee works on each project. Finally, we will create a unary relationship. To create a unary relationship, we have to click on the relationship icon and place the relationship on the drawing surface. This will be a unary relationship between four employee. So we will name this relationship supervises and we will choose employee to be entity one and entity two. Let's add cardinality constraints for this relationship. Each employee does not have to supervise any employees, but can supervise many. Each employee does not have to be supervised by any employees, but can be supervised by one. We just completed a small ER diagram. Notice that we could have created more entities. For each entity, we could have created more attributes. Attributes could have been of different types such as multi-valued attributes, optional attributes, composite attributes, derived attributes, and so on. Once you have created your ER diagram, it is saved in the diagram section of your erdplus.com account. However, you can also, if you choose so, save the diagram onto your own computer as well by clicking on export diagram file. In addition, you can export the image of the ER diagram onto your own computer by choosing under Diagram option, Export Image. This saves image onto your own computer. Later, you can choose to paste it into PowerPoint, Word, or any other application. This concludes a small demo of how to create an ER diagram using ERD+.